Hello, welcome to Just Learn Civil. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the base width of dam and how limited profile is only a theoretical profile. It cannot be used practically. We have already derived forces P, U, and W. Now we will know the conditions of finding how it can be made stable. So for no tension conditions and there will be no sliding conditions. For no tension condition, the resultant must act anywhere from A to B that is within the middle dot. And for no sliding condition, the frictional force should be the resisting force. And we will check this for two conditions that is one is no tension, no sliding for reservoir full condition and reservoir empty condition. In no tension for reservoir empty condition, there will be no P and no Q. One DW act, so result it will be acting at A, means it is safe for empty condition. But in case of reservoir full condition, water will be up to top and resultant must be made to pass through B. For that, we will take moment at point B, then H into P into H by 3 clockwise, so positive, then U into B by 3, so positive. is negative other side positive because they are clockwise after substituting these values we will get one relationship b equals to h divided by root under g minus c c is the coefficient of uplift and g is specific gravity of the material now let's see for no sliding condition for no sliding condition, mu into v must be equal to for limited condition summation of x, and this is summation of v means vertical forces, horizontal forces. Vertical forces are this is w, and this is u, and here we have p. So, summation of vertical forces W minus U and horizontal forces is P. Now, again, when we substitute the value of P, W, and U, we will get again one relationship that is B is equal to S is divided by mu times G minus C. This is the second relationship. Now, depending upon the value of C, we will get more relations. We derived these two equations. Now, when c is equal to 1, maximum value c can have is 1 and minimum c can have is 0. So, when c is equal to 1, b equals to s by root under c minus 1 and slide. <laughs> B equals to 1, B equals to 2, B equals to 5, and B equals to 2.5. Suppose we got this value from these equations then. Minimum value would be the maximum of above 4. Maximum is 5, so minimum width of the base term is 5. So 
So get the maximum of this value and that will be the minimum base width of tab. Now we will see how how elementary profile is only a theoretical profile. So let's see. This is our dam. Now it has no top width and water is up to top level. So when there is flood, there will be overtopping of the water. So we need to provide free mode. Moreover, there will be logs, trees, and other debris that will hit the top of the dam and it has no top width to resist it. So we need to provide top width as well. That top width can be used as access road also. So these are the reasons why we cannot use elementary profile alone. We need to modify it. And hence it is not it is only a theoretical profile, not a practical. But while designing a dam, this is the first step. We create elementary profile, then we keep on adding extra width as per the requirement. Thank you for watching. If you are new, please subscribe, like, share, and comment for any further queries.